Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to my channel, and I keep introing. I, I don't mean to do that, but today, guys, we're going to be reviewing the card Zerath Dragon of World and Dusk. Um, why are we reviewing this card? Because, well, I've been hopping around on the internet as of late since this card's reveal last weekend, which, by the way, guys, thank you so much. We have over 700 views on that episode review, and I'm going to keep doing it. It seems like it's really popular right now, so... I'm going to keep doing a weekly episode review, and with the new stuff coming right around the corner in the new year, it's going to be exciting. So, I wanted to do at least one last review video before the end of the year and get that final episode review to you guys. So, let's get into this. So, Xeroth Dragon of End of the World Dusk. Already a hard name to say. And it's your standard Xeroth Dragon with your standard print. It has the nice purple border. With the gold text at 25k, grade 4. Now, a lot of people aren't liking this skill because it's, it's hard to explain. But a lot of players, a lot of competitive players and players that think ahead, tend to keep their damage more than their opponents. Locking out their opponent's ability to um, heal late game and for them to have access to heal triggers. And that's a good strategy. The problem that everyone's having with Dusk is its skill is to decrease your opponent's Vanguard's grade and power down to 1 and deal them a damage if they're at 4 or less. Dealing the damage is big, because if, if it's late game and your opponent's at 4 damage, then you're dealing them 5, giving them their access to their heal triggers. Granted, if um they're at 4, you deal them 5, they get a heal and then take a damage... It's not going to matter too much, but I think this card is very good. So let's get into its full skill. So Counter Blast 2 is the standard. When this is placed on Vanguard, standard, you may pay the cost. If you do, until end of your turn, all your opponent's Vanguards and Rearguards lose their abilities and their grades become their grades and power decrease, increase or decrease to 1. Choose one of your opponent's Vanguards and deal it 1 damage. Perform a drive check. So this card is good. It's going to take grade zeros up a grade. It's also going to take anything under a grade one, above a grade one down to one. So this card has a lot of potential in a lot of decks. Dark Irregular, Gear Chronicle, and Pale Moon, I see it working best. Spike Brothers, I guess, will make use of it, being that they have multi-attacks, but they're not going to make a great use of it, in my opinion. Dealing the 1 damage, I think, is a good trade-off for decreasing the power down to a minimum of 1 in the grade. Because this card's locking out all abilities to guard besides G-Guard, or not G-Guard, wow, besides grade zeros and 1s. So you're going to lose the intercepts, you're going to lose the G-Guards, and you're going to lose anything else that requires a grade 3 to guard. So, how does this help us out in all reality? Well, very few decks are going to be able to counter this. Um, the only deck I can really think of is Old Style Gargawit, which, if you don't remember its skill, it's Counter Blast and Soul Blast 1. Or it's Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast... It, it's a skill that allows you to look at X amount of cards from the top of your deck at the beginning of an attack and call a card or two cards to the guard. But overall, this is still good because in order to block this attack, this attack alone, you need to drop a 30k shield on it. Which late game, some decks like Great Nature will have, but other decks won't be able to do anything about it. Or have perfect guards. So minimum guarding for this is 15k shields at all times. To guard any rear guard attack and any attack. But... This card is good overall. I mean, late game, your columns are going to be 30k almost a piece if you're playing your decks right. So you get to have over either two perfect guards minimum in hand, or to be at, uh, or to have 90k shield, which means nine out of your 17 triggers, and that's if you're not running draws. So overall, I think this card is pretty good, and I feel like people are undervaluing it. I mean, diff fight, different fight said um, this card should have more prints, which I would like them to have ZR, ZRs have more prints. Now, granted, this having 
its prints, there's going to be a total of two ZRs plus um, Gias in this. Which, I think overall this card isn't a bad card. I mean, I really like the art. I like the just the art of this card in general is amazing. And I was really psyched to see it. Sure, I wish we had seen Stark first. But I will take this card. I mean, this, the, the art in general of this card is amazing. So I really, I'm really hoping to get my hands on a copy. And I'm hoping Bushiro will do something like this summer will release a fighter's collection with lower rarities. But I think people are undervaluing this card for what it is. And that's why I wanted to review it and get your guys' opinion. Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. I honestly think this card is undervalued. And for that reasoning, I'm going to say I really think it's a good card. It, it's perfect in my opinion. In Pale Moon, you're going to have your multi-attacks. In Gear Chronicle, you're going to be time-leaping your opponent's units to even... To just mess with their formation more. And with, um, friggin', what's it called? Dark Irregulars, this card's just gonna do more damage. With Skull, if you run Old Skull Heart, you're gonna retire stuff on hits. This card's just good. I think it's better than a lot of the ZRs we got. And I don't know, maybe it's not. But let me know what you guys think down below, and I will make sure to get back to you guys with some theories. And guys, the end of the year is in four days. Can we please get the channel up to, I, I, I want like 160 subscribers. That's one subscriber away. But I do want to do a giveaway soon. So if we can get up to 200 subscribers by the end of the year, I will give something away. I will do a whole giveaway. I will buy something and I will, it can be a booster box. It could be a game. I don't know. That's up to you guys. Let's, if we get 200 subscribers, up to 200 subscribers in the next four days then i will do a giveaway sound like a fair deal all right guys until next time i've been the silver wolf and i'll see you all later peace